Hello YouTubers at Ask Prepper here. Well, I'm in the middle of recording a video for Sunday morning. All right, for the Sunday morning premiere. And it's a review. And I was going through the news and this article popped up not too long ago. And I thought that it's pretty interesting because I've actually been waiting for this to come out, which is the numbers for the last quarter or for the last uh, quarter of 2018. And I personally didn't think it was going to be great. And this article is going to explain that. So the title of the article is Retail Apocalypse, 465 store closures in 48 hours. And let's read on here. The following government shutdown delays. I'm sorry. Let me start over again. Following government shutdown delays, data for December and January spending and income collapsed on Friday. This was one of the most significant drops in consumer spending since the financial crash. And what they're talking about is this right here. If you take a look at the bottom chart, it shows our spending during those months. I was wrong. I thought it was for the quarter. It's for the last two months for December and January actually. And we just got those numbers in. And as you can see down here, that spending dropped down to the lowest levels since the last financial crisis, which occurred between 2008 and nine. And as you can see here, this was in 2009, you can see 2008, but that's how long ago it's been. So, I think things are starting to catch up now, ladies and gentlemen. So, so one way that I like to put the way our economy is, because a while back I got a comment from, from a viewer, and he stated that, you know, it, I forgot what the video was, but it was something to do with the economy as well that I was doing a video on. And he asked me, do you really think things are that bad? You know, he said, employment is at an all-time low, uh... And he, he started saying a few of the things that are going on that's good, right? And I've also had a lot of community members comment on that as well, that where they're living, that things are looking a lot better than they have in the past, that their family members have jobs, good paying jobs, and all of these things. But the way you want to, the way I look at it, ladies and gentlemen, our economy is this, you know, <laughs> and this is really kind of a weird way to look at it. But you know when, when someone gets a cut, like if someone gets a really deep cut, right? Let's say in their arm. And you go to the doctor and they go ahead, they go to stitch up your, your you know, cut, your laceration. They go to stitch it up. Usually if the cut is really deep, they have to put some stitches on the inside. Usually those stitches that just go away on their own. They have to like stitch up the inside of your cut and then they put stitches on the outside. Well, that's how I see our economy is that when the doctor went in there to fix that cut, they didn't put any stitches on the inside. All they did was just stitch up the outside of the wound to make it look like it's okay, it's healed all right, but in reality, it never really healed correctly. All right, so now that's coming back to haunt us, right? Not having fixed the problem correctly the first time around is going to come back to get us. And let's read on here. As if the situation wasn't already dire enough, U.S. consumers dialed back their spending in the last several months has put... Yeah, this, 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 they, they didn't write this right. It says, U.S. consumers dialed back their spending in the last several months has put a sizable dent into sales growth and foot traffic at U.S. malls. Last month, we noted that the retail apocalypse isn't over. It's only just getting started, and we were right. Fox 5 New York is reporting that major chains such as Gap, JCPenney, Victoria's Secret, and Foot Locker have all announced massive closures totaling more than 465 stores in the last 48 hours. 
Wow, I'm wondering what the stock market is going to look like on Monday, uh, considering that this just happened not too long ago. All, right. All four companies reported its fourth quarter results last week for the holiday period, with three of them, Gap, JCPenney, and Victoria's Secret, reporting a sizable decline in same-store sales, while Foot Locker had modest growth with somewhat decent growth because apparently consumers still need to walk, Foot Locker shocked investors on Friday with a 165 store closures across the country. So even Foot Locker sees that the writing's on the wall. Even though they, had, they actually had some growth, they're still deciding to close 165 stores across the country. That comes less than 24 hours after Gap told investors it would close 230 stores over the next several years after the company's same store sales plunged 7% during the holiday quarter. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that do have investments like in paper, right? One thing that a lot of people don't understand is that we live in a finite world, right? So how can you have growth every year forever, all right? That's why there's a business cycle, all right? The, the macro business cycle usually lasts around 80 years, which is about the lifetime of a person, all right? And then we have micro business cycles, you know, that last anywhere is between four to eight to 10 years. So thinking that you're going to be able to put your wealth somewhere and have it just grow you know, forever, you know, that's not going to work out, all right? Because everything is about cycles, and this cycle is about to end. Actually, I think that in 2008 is actually when this system pretty much imploded, and we are just going to now start really feeling the pain, all right? Because there's only so much free money that you can pump into a system before the laws of nature, i.e. the laws of economics, take over, okay? Uh, continuing on, if the hemorrhaging wasn't enough, JCPenney was back on the chopping block with 18 more department store closures through the second half of this year, including three from January. Bob Fibbs, CEO of New York-based consultancy the real retail doctor believes J.C. Penney will announce another round of store closures in the second half. And quote, it is mind boggling that J.C. Penney still thinks they have time uh, when the clock has run out and there's no real plan. Closing 18 stores is barely a drop in the bucket of J.C. Penney's more than 850 stores. If this was a big, bold effort to reinvigorate the brand, they would have announced they were closing hundreds of stores and investing in an outstanding experience at their, lo at their other locations, Fibs told Fox Business. And continuing, it says, that builds on recent store closure announcements in Gimbury, Palis Shoe Source, Charlotte Russ, and Ann Taylor, to name a few. Even Tesla last week announced it was it would be closing most of its U.S. showrooms. Wow, so even Tesla is closing most of its U.S. showrooms. A whopping 4,500 store closures have been announced by retailers in the first several months of this year. The number is expected to increase in the coming months as growth prospects for the U.S. economy are expected to be at near zero for the first quarter. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Things don't look like they're getting any better. I know that, you know, we have a lot of optimism in this country as far as the economy goes. But what I have to say about this is that the writing's been on the wall. And I think it's going to start showing its ugly head. All right. I think that what's going to start happening here is just the beginning of a really bad bear market for the stock market and paper investments. So that's why I decide to keep my wealth out of paper. 
All right. So you guys will have to do your own research and decide what you need to do for yourselves. However, ladies and gentlemen, especially, especially if you're here for the first time, listening to this channel for the first time, you need to be prepping. You need to be stocking up on food, water, all right? You need to be stocking up on any medications that you may require in order to stay healthy, all right, and live, all right? You need to have some personal protection for your self for your family and for your preps all right and you need to be as self-reliant as you possibly can think to yourself all right think to yourself ask yourself this question if right now while you're sitting in your living room if right now the lights went out and they weren't going to come back on what in your house has value what items in your house has value if the lights were to just go out? All right, for example, no longer will my flat screen TV have any value, right? If the lights were just to go out, all right? What would have value in your life? I know that something that I have that would have value is storable food, right? That would have value. Because if the lights went out and they weren't going to come back on, and I'm just using that as an example, that the, the light's going out. But I, I want you to think about what of the things that you own have real value. And what is real value to you, all right? What are the things that you own that have real value to you for you to be able to use to take care of yourself and your family should you have to in any kind of a crisis, those are the things that have real value. Everything else is just a peripheral, right? Everything else that you have that that doesn't have a use, you know, right, to keep you alive, you know, to keep you healthy, to keep you protected. The only value it has really is kind of like an entertainment value, right? But all of the things that you have that have real value are those things that you're going to need or the things that you currently need and use to be able to live to be able to have a standard of living that you're comfortable with having, right? So think about that to yourselves. And if there's something missing, then do whatever you have to do to fill in those gaps, okay? Uh, that is a very good, you know, uh, thought experiment. You know, if the lights were to go out right now, what in your house would have value, all right? And think of those things. And if you don't have those things that you think you may need, then it's something that you may want to yeah, like for example, I have a uh, good buddy of mine who just spent 400 and something dollars on a flat screen TV. And as soon as he told me that, I was like, man, that's like 20, 20 something ounces of silver. That's the first thing that I thought about, right? And, and I asked him, you know, I was like, hey, how much stored food do you have put away? You know, and he's got some stored food put away, you know. Um, it's, I just wanted to put a little bit of a seed in and said, hey, if you're spending 400 bucks on a TV or something like that, maybe you ought to think about maybe adding a little bit more to your food storage and getting a used TV instead of a new one. You know, I didn't put it that way exactly, but, you know, I just kind of like planted a little bit of a seed in his head by saying, hey, so how much food storage do you have put away? And, uh, you know, like I said, he's got some, but uh, I would say that I guess what I'm trying to say is that you should prioritize your needs and your wants, right? So I'm starting to blab, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Like I said, I'm working on a video for tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, uh, I will be putting up a premiere at 8 a.m. Hopefully, I'm hoping that everything is going to work out all right as far as my editing the video and being able to upload it in a timely manner, okay? So hopefully, I'll keep my fingers crossed. We'll see if it works out. If so, we will see you tomorrow morning. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me here today. I hope that you guys are having a great Saturday, and I hope that you have a good week. And at that, all right, um, I wasn't really planning on, on doing a video today, but it's a little later in the evening right now. And uh, like I said, I'm waiting for the next uh, step on the uh, review that I'm doing right now before I go ahead and video record some more. So I thought that I'd take a few minutes to do a quick upload and uh, just say hi to you guys so thanks again for joining in uh we'll see you guys tomorrow so remember to be good to each other when good people do good things good things happen remember to reach one teach one and repeat if we all did this the world would be a better place and you know that it will be a better place 
Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.